All right, just super quick here, X and Y intercepts, because uh, we talked briefly, and I've left this up, what the Y intercept is. We talked briefly that the Y intercept is where the graph crosses the Y axis. If we change color, we use some green. The X intercept is where the graph crosses the X axis, okay? So this here is the X intercept. And you'll often see it written as X dash INT, short for X intercept. This here is the Y intercept. And you'll often see it Y dash INT, right? It's just where it crosses the Y axis. The one thing that's important to note is an x-intercept always has a y, it has an x-value of something. We don't know what that is. I mean, in this case, it looks like a negative 2. But the y-value is always 0 because it's along this line. So it's not positive y and it's not a negative y. The y-value is always 0. Similarly, when we have the y-intercept, okay, the y-intercept, we don't know what y is. Right? Y somewhere along the Y axis, so we do not know what Y is. But we know that the X value is neither positive nor negative because it's right on the zero line. So the X value is always zero. Okay? And that's what this is talking about here. X intercepts occur on the X axis, have a zero Y value no matter what the X value is. Y intercepts occur on the Y axis we don't know what the y value is because it depends where it might be on a given line, but we know that the x value is always zero.